Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Port Scientist 7 and welcome to another week of Destiny 2. So, another week's gone by. And it's now, what, part 3 of the Wayfinder's Voyage? So, what, I say so a lot today, alright. Um, if my voice sounds a little off, got sick over the weekend, minor cold, so my voice might sound funny. Alright, so your first quest step for the voyage today is head on down to the compass. So head to the helm, head off to the right side as you see, and then go on and click the Wayfinder's compass and listen to this week's dialogue from Marasov. We awoke and were born of light and dark. Our perspective on the universe is a complex one. The light is not inherently good, as your warlords of the Dark Age so clearly demonstrated. In spite of Zavala's preconceptions, darkness is not inherently evil. Some among you already discovered this on Europa. In my travels, I have seen true evil. It is the worm gods that the hive serve. It is the black fleet waiting to strike. It is the entity that commands them all. The voice in the darkness. These creatures are not evil because they wield darkness. They are evil because, like Sarthun and Zeal of Ra, they are cruel, hateful things with no regard for the lives of others. Some might say that includes me as well. I will let history be the judge of my guilt. Before that judgment is cast, I will see my Tekians returned. Perhaps with them, I can save us all. Alright, once the dialogue's complete, you can just go ahead and click on to the next step. You pick up your tracings of the stars three right here. And then you can also go talk to Marosov right after. Then, once you've done that, you can go ahead and go to your next quest step which will be completing a astral alignment then after completing the astral alignment you're going to be prompted to go to the destination on the moon in sorrows harbor there you will find what what's it called again ascendant anchors all around the edges of the harbor once you pick them all up, I only picked up maybe four of them and I was done. I got all the parallax trajectory. So if you pick them all up, you should be good. And then next, you'll just need to go to the helm and you'll have to go to the Shadow Realm. Once you've done the first two beacons in the Shadow Realm, you'll be prompted to do the third be be aligned beacon. The third beacon alignment will have you fighting a giant hive knight. Once you defeat the giant hive knight, er, the Tekian, I believe that's what Marshall called him, the Tekian shall be freed, and you will get to listen to uh, that portion of the dialogue, as you'll see in a, a few seconds. This is a world divided. With the Techiums, we can begin to stabilize it. I am presenting you with this responsibility, Guardian. To my knowledge, the downfall of the Dreaming City is not the doing of Guardians. Guardians found a cracked pane of glass and decided to crash through it. Now that I've returned to the scattered pieces, you feign ignorance to how they got there. I am not feigning ignorance. I am ignorant. I was dead for a very long time. Yes. Osiris spoke of you frequently during our visits. Then you understand that if he does not return, you answer to me. Fear not, Saint. Everything is as it should be. 
Do your part, and I will do mine. All right. Once you have completed the dialogue, you'll just need to head back to the helm. And you'll be going to talk to, I believe, you know what? I believe you'll be actually witnessing a quick dialogue exchange between two characters. Then you will talk to Savthun. And then you'll have to go talk both to the crow and then Petra afterwards. Cyrus was like family to me. You've never even met him. I know. Just let me speak to Savathun, please. No. I won't give that witch another chance to dig her claws into you. Maybe she's right, Crow. You know I am. Savathun is already in your head. You're a liability to the mission. Why do you have such a problem with me, Petra? Five minutes. That's all I'm asking. The Queen of the Reef forbids it. Well, I don't take commands from the Queen of the Reef. Savathun unraveled the Dreaming City with a single wish. I've spent years trying to contain that mistake. Better men than you died because of it. In my ear, it sounds like you're the liability. Maybe your Queen's trust in you was misplaced. A knife against a hunter? <laughs> more careful who you pick fights with another step and my corsairs will have to prepare you a second grave save it for the hive both of you this isn't getting us anywhere thank you we could all probably use a minute to cool off oh oh no keep both eyes on that one You can't stop the inevitable. No one can. Though Petra Van seems perfectly willing to try. I've always sympathized with Crow, you know. All the kind words I shared with him as Osiris were sincere. I know what it's like to be in exile. To be hated for things outside of your control. It would be better for Crow if we talked. I want to explain why I did what I did. I want him to know that my affection is true. Because the less he knows, the more vulnerable he is. Doomed to be strung along by false promises from supposed benefactors. But then again, I'm the one trapped in the crystal prison. What do I know? Venge thinks I'm vulnerable, and I'm supposed to just take a seat? Like I was the only one fooled by Savathun wearing Osiris' skin? You'd known him far longer than I thought I had, but I don't see her forbidding you from speaking to her. 
because it's not about me. It's about who I was, isn't it? Every time the vanguard tells me that things will get better, I thank them, as if it's a privilege not to be beaten to death. Our past lives aren't supposed to matter. I'm beginning to wonder why I'm the only guardian being judged by mine. No more apologies. No more creeping around on eggshells. I deserve an audience with Sabathun. I deserve to know how much of what she told me as Osiris was a lie. I deserve answers. I don't need to be Marasov to see into your mind, Guardian. You think I'm making a mistake. You think I barred Crow out of pettiness. I won't say I didn't recommend it, but it was the Queen's order for his own safety. I see Prince Aldrin's arrogance in him, his desire to please. He's vulnerable. Aldrin and your Crow are echoes of each other. Surely you can see that. They share kindred weaknesses. Sabathun will exploit them again if we let her. But with Mara back, I can finally see the end approaching. It's been a long time coming. There are still Techians in need of your strength. I wish I could fill their place, but this must be how things are. I'm here if you need me. Uh, thank you once again, and everyone have a great day and a good rest of your week. I hope to see you next week, and please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. There's also a link to our Discord down below. Also click the notification bell to be notified on any other Polycore Media content that releases. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.